Hey guys, it's Arx here and welcome back to my channel. We are finally back with a new keyboard review. I know it's been a while and we are back with a new Akko keyboard. We have something unique to review today as this is my first time trying out a wooden keyboard. So today, let's all take a look and listen at the new MU01 by Akko. A quick disclaimer that the board was sent by Akko for a review but I wasn't paid to make the video and of course, I'll give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion about the MU01. I'll place all of their links on the description down below. Let's go ahead and see what we get out of the box. First, it's packaged here with a nice box art and opening it up, it, it's very straightforward as we are greeted with the manuals which I always suggest to check and read if this is your first keyboard. Now for the extras, as the usual, we have a USB cable, the switch, and the keycap puller, and some extra switches. Now what I'm surprised to find is that you have a cloth and somewhat a cream for you to maintain the quality of the wooden keyboard. Now let's break down what it is and what's the board all about. So the Akko MU01 is made out of a walnut wood. It's the typical gasket mount keyboard, comes in pre-built with the switches. Now mine came in with the Piano Pro and a full set of PBT die sub keycaps. The PCB is actually tri-mode with a 4000 milliamp uh, battery. It's also programmable via Akko Cloud Driver and pretty much that's it. It's very straightforward keyboard if you ask me. Now there's two other versions, Joy of Life which we have here and the Mountain Seclusion and another one which are all the same except for the theme of the keycaps. So let's take a closer look at the board itself. Again, this is my first time seeing a wooden keyboard in hand and I know there are some types of wood out there that can be used and as mentioned, this one is made out of walnut. And it's actually very smooth to the touch. Now design-wise, it's very simple. It has no branding at the back actually and we only get this nice piece of brass at the top with the subtle Akko logo. So for the keyboard, it has that rounded edges look to it and some chunky bezels. Now taking it apart is also simple. Remove the rubber feet and the screws are located at the top. Once removed, pull out the brass piece should reveal the PCB and this is the only thing that's holding the board in place. Again, the gaskets are your typical plate mount gaskets, which the plate slides in out on the wooden board and that's how simple it is mounted. Plates by default is FR4, plate mount stabilizers are included, can also support screw in stabs. Now that you have everything you need to know about the MU01, let's go get the Soundis. For the Soundis, we'll be using different Akko switches, linears, and tactiles. And from what I mentioned earlier, I find the case foam glued, so we're only gonna listen with the case foam only. Also, please do remember that the sound and experience it will always vary on how you build your keyboard. So please do enjoy the sound is on the Echo MU01 Joy of Life.
And that was the sound test on the MU01. Please do let me know on what you think about them and what's your favorite switch on them on the comment section down below. Let's have some quick discussions and also thank you for staying. Let's now talk about my overall thoughts on the MU01. Honestly, for $129, the board, it's, it's decent enough, though I can't say yet about the build quality as this is my first time using a wooden keyboard. The board sounds good, feels good as a pre-built wise, and I have no complaints. I also didn't mod the staves and use it completely stock along with the switches. For the sound profile, it's more in that deep sound profile and feel-wise, I would say it has a typical old-school gasket mount feel where it's not too bouncy and you can still feel a bit of a stiffness when typing but still has a nice give to it. But with that being said, the keyboard market right now, we have a lot of options when it comes to aluminum pre-built that has the crashable structure, the LED gimmicks, and other features around and more for that below $129 price tag. Now, my only suggestion to Akko is to offer the board completely bare bones, have it priced around $70 to $80 at most, and that should be fair, as not everyone would like the Kika profile and the switches that are included. I can say the board is really selling you the theme of that unique wooden keyboard that can add something aesthetic on your desk or on your setup and would say it's perfect for those who want to have somewhat of a theme for a custom board and something light that they could carry around whenever they are. And yeah, that is it for the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed the review on the MU01 and I hope you find it helpful. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like. You can also share if you want and of course, subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on the next review. Peace.